Hello everyone, it is Benjamin Nukomo Hiva here and you will welcome back to yet another video. So in this video, we are going to be learning how you can use the due to effect to edit your images like this in Canva. So we are just going to head straight over there and we are going to get started. All right. So as you can see, I've already logged on to Canva.com and I've already created a, a new design, right? The dimensions I'm using for the design is 3000 by 3000, all right? It's not really a design, it's actually an edit or whatever. All right, so these are the images I'm going to be using. This one, two, and three. And where could, did I get these images? I'm going to click on the plus icon to show you where. You can just go to photos, and then you can search for bold is beautiful, all right? So this is the first image over here, and this is the second and this one over here all right you can use any one you choose to do this one will also be very very nice for it all right but i choose to just you know use this three all right so we're going to be starting with this one all right this first pink one over here so what we're going to do first is we're just going to tap on the image we're going to go to um effects and then we're going to go to deal tone all right in the old tone, we're going to just pick any of this. I'm going to tap on it again. And we're going to change the colors of the highlight and the shadow. All right. Oh, wow. There's intensity here, which is cool. But we're going to leave it as one, which is the highest over there. We're just going to change the color of the highlight here. The first color we're going to be using is BF0C5D, right? BF0C5D. That is like a pink, right? Like a shade of pink and for the shadows you're going to be using a darker color darker kind of purple all right i think the hex code i use for that is 1f0e2d all right i think i would love to go a bit darker something oh let's just use the one i did there all right as well we are editing the images with the adjust that actually comes to have that kind of my sweet pop Okay, so we're going to click on done over here. And one thing I would love to let you know is when it comes to doing all those, um, the auto effects and all the stuff, the highlight has to be kind of a brighter color than the shadows. The shadows, you have to kind of be like the darker tone. You know, you have to use a darker color, right? So I'm not so much as photography, but nah, yes, that's what I know. Oh God, it canceled. So we have to do it all over again. Really? Canva? E. All right. So um, this guy's going to have to do this quickly. So gonna have to paste in this stuff all right great so we are back on track this is gonna click done here all right and this is gonna like wait for this to load the next one is this image here we're gonna go to effects right just want to do all the effects on all the images quickly before we go over to the editing for this one we're just gonna be using the mustard here all right i'm just gonna be using this mustard we're not going to be changing any color here i love it the way it is over here i'm just going to click on done all right and then we go over to the start image over here we're going to go to effects got to go to deal tone um i'm going to click on this one here though we are not going to be using the colors but i'm just i love blue all right so um the colors we're going to be using there is um 6177E6 for the highlights and for the shadows we got um let's put it like on 131022 all right so i'm just gonna go back and click on done all right i'm gonna have to remove this and then you can see it over here right so quite this one is done so we're just gonna first go to adjust here just to kind of make the image pop a bit all right so i'm going to increase the contrast to 10 and i'm going to reduce the blur and i think i will have to reload this page because it's kind of looking okay looking the quality is back all right so i'm going to go to adjust again reduce the blur to like minus 16 I'm going to increase the x process all right and then I'm going to go to shadows and I'm going to reduce it to like minus 38 or 37. I think I'll have to reload the page because I do not like how the quality is kind of looking. So I'm just going to reload the page here. 
all right the page has been reloaded and it looks like all the edits that i did like all the adjusts i did kind of gone nope they're still there all right so just the x process which didn't add so we're just going to increase this to like 30 i'm going to scroll down i'm going to reduce the shadows to like 37 all right so it gives it a kind of pop and darker blend no i don't want to increase the vibrance let's maybe see for anything else you could do I'm gonna increase the warmth to like um 24 all right let's see i'm gonna just increase this to like 40 or let's slip it away it is i can just reduce the shadows a little bit all right to like minus 50 and let's kind of increase this to like um let's say 42 all right i'm trying not to go overboard with this though so let's say let's just leave it at 40 all right great so we've done this one right here the next is this one over here it's just the next just edit it all right is when you edit it with just the adjust you know play with some some of this edits here that it gives you that kind of pop you know the pop that you actually want all right so um i just reduced the brightness to minus seven i'm going to increase the contrast to 30 all right and i'm going to reduce the blur Reducing the blur is going to give it some to my sharpness over there. So I'm just going to give it to minus 20. Okay, so it gives it a kind of nice sharpness over there. I'm going to increase the X process, or should I reduce it? Now I'm just going to increase it a little bit to like 13. All right. And then I'm going to reduce the shadows. Okay. Shadows to like uh, minus 50. I may not really get the exact way I got them in the previous or the previous designs, but let's say minus 40. All right, so I'm just kind of doing this like off head. Um, that's gonna go to clarity. Let's say increase it a bit. Let's say it's a 10. I'm not really a fan of using clarity so much, but this one is gonna give it that kind of nice blend. All right, all right. So as for this last one over here, I'm just gonna. Do the same thing again where it's just to go to adjust over here and for this one also we're going to be reducing the brightness to minus five all right because she's dark and I, because she's dark and I actually weren't you know the dark shades and everything should really show and we're going to go down to shadows we're going to reduce the shadow so like minus minus 90 so all right um going to increase the warmth to 100 i'm going to increase the contrast over here all right 30 i'm going to reduce the saturation to around like minus five all right and um what else let's say we're just going to increase the x process to like 15 and just reduce this the blur all right to give it a kind of sharpness so minus 15 should be the blur i think i would just love to give this some highlights all right because i want some light to be on our skin or something yeah i think i love this all right i think i love that i'm just gonna increase the clarity so seven and uh, i think this is basically all right okay um I'm, I'm going to remove that clarity i'm not really comfortable with that and also for the board i'm just going to maybe make it minus 10 not really minus 15 all right great so we have been able to do this three these are really really simple right the one that we are going to do um because um, my plan was to make this kind of like a two-part video right um the next one is a little bit complicated but with the basis that we've set in this video you've been you'll be able to really understand the next one so i'm just going to put like a text over here in this right bold and bold and courageous all right all right so i'm just gonna go to i'm change i'm just gonna change the text to or oh, sorry the font to regular brush All right, I'm good. Just gonna select it. Okay, so 
gonna go to format here i'm gonna make a left line and then i'm just gonna go to line spacing and reduce the line just reduce the line spacing right gonna place it over here and i'm just gonna go to transparency and reduce it eight five all right so great we have been able to do these three places images right and we can just go over here to download and just download all of them all right so gonna click that's gonna do like deactivate the page four and then click on download all right but there is no point to me downloading them since i've already you know done that anyways but let me just do it for more of you know demonstrative sake all right so download so great it's been downloaded so i'm just gonna go to my file manager all right then i'm just gonna extract them and voila you can see them over here these are kind of like all people worthy stuff right right so in the next video we are going to i'm going to be showing you how you can create or rather i will be showing you um from what we've learned um how we can create something like this with canva it was done with the deal tone effect and all the other stuff and we will does be will be able to achieve this so watch out for the next one and make sure you subscribe to this channel click the bell icon so you will get notified when i post the next tutorial and i will see you guys in the next one goodbye